Hi, my name is Alyssa, and I am doing chemistry in creating healthy food lunches for students. Chemicals in our food today. Preservatives basically work to delay microorganisms from growing without affecting manufacturing quality or taste. These are often very cheap, but they um, can cause health risks. They work to prevent fungi from forming, such as yeast and mold. They contain compounds including benzoic acid, sodium benzoate, sodium and potassium sorbate, sulfites, and nitrites. Next, artificial flavoring. Artifi artificial flavoring is, chemical, is a chemical mixture which is meant to replicate the natural flavoring of something. It is often uh, cheaper and easier to get the natural flavoring, but it can cause health problems. It contains a volatile chemical which evaporates into one's, one's noses causing a scent to be recognized. For example, chocolate often will use artificial flavoring. Um, this will be called ethanol vanillin, and it is three times sweeter than vanilla, and the formula is C9H10O3. Vitamin deficiencies. So here are four very common ones. Vitamin D deficiency can cause a person's bones uh, density to decrease, which can cause bones to be broken, and rickets in children. Foods including vitamin D include salmon, eggs, and milk. B6 deficiency can cause anemia, amenia, sorry, seizures and depression, and foods are carrots, spinach, and sweet potatoes. B12 um, deficiency can cause a feeling of weakness and constant tiredness, vomiting, and lack of appetite. Foods can include clams, beef, and Greek yogurt. And then folic acid deficiency can basically create a lack of blood cells, which can cause anemia. And foods with folic acid include citrus fruit, mangoes, and avocados. And how to help is you can provide students with meals, which include necessary vitamins and minerals, using organic fruits and vegetables, and avoiding foods with artificial flavoring and preservatives. Thank you.